I couldn't help but wonder about Paul as I watched him twirl gracefully on the dance floor, the vibrant colors of his party dress swirling around him. His laughter mingled with the music, and for a moment, he seemed carefree, as if he had found a place where he truly belonged. But beneath the layers of makeup and the flowing fabric, did he still consider himself a man? In our ever-changing world, the beauty of our new chemical treatments had blurred the lines of identity. Paul's voice had softened, and he no longer stood tall among his male friends. Yet, his eyes sparkled with an enchanting allure that seemed to captivate everyone around him. I had known Paul since our school days, and we had shared secrets, dreams, and aspirations. But now, as I watched him confidently navigate this new chapter of his life, I couldn't help but wonder if he felt the same way inside. Did he wrestle with questions about his own identity, or had he embraced this transformation wholeheartedly? As I sipped my drink, I contemplated the impending conversation. The one where we'd sit down and have, the talk. The talk about the future, about who he truly was, and about the changes that had transformed our friendship. I knew it was coming, and I knew it would be an emotional moment for both of us. But for now, as the night continued to unfold, Paul danced with grace and flirted with a newfound confidence. The sensations that had overridden his logical thinking were evident, and it was clear that he was living in the moment, enjoying every aspect of this new life. When the time came for the talk, I hoped that Paul would find happiness and acceptance in his own skin, whether that meant continuing his journey as a young woman or discovering another path entirely. Until then, I would stand by his side, supporting him as he embraced the beauty and complexity of his ever-evolving identity. The weeks passed, and Paul's transformation continued to evolve. Our conversations became more introspective, delving into the depths of his emotions and experiences. It was during one of those late-night talks, in the cozy comfort of his living room, that he finally broached the subject we both knew was inevitable. Sarah, he began, his voice tinged with vulnerability, I've been thinking a lot about this journey I'm on. It's been incredible, but it's also brought up a lot of questions about who I am. I nodded, offering a reassuring smile. I'm here to listen, Paul. Whatever you want to share, I'm ready. He took a deep breath, his fingers tracing the edge of his teacup. You know, I've come to realize that the dress and the makeup, they're not the most important parts of me. I still feel like me, like Paul, deep down. His words hung in the air, and I could see the struggle in his eyes. It was as if he was trying to reconcile the person he had become with the person he had been. I reached out and gently touched his hand. Paul, your journey is your own, and it's okay to feel conflicted. Your identity is not defined by the clothes you wear or the way you look. It's about who you are at your core, and that person is valid, no matter what. Tears welled up in Paul's eyes, and he nodded, his grip on my hand tightening. Thank you, Sarah, I needed to hear that. We talked for hours, sharing our hopes and fears, and in that moment, our friendship deepened. It was clear that Paul was still navigating the complexities of his identity, and that was perfectly okay. What mattered most was that he was being true to himself. As time went on, Paul continued to explore his identity, finding a balance between the person he had been and the person he was becoming. It was a journey filled with self-discovery and growth, and I was privileged to be a part of it. In the end, Paul's brain was not clouded with sensations that overrode his logical thinking. Instead, he found clarity in the acceptance of his own truth. He chose to embrace his identity, whether as Paul, a young woman, or something entirely unique, with the love and support of those who cared about him. And through it all, our friendship remained steadfast, a testament to the enduring power of acceptance and understanding.